our legend, or do you think it, or do you think it's 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 a band in its entirety? I think it's both, in the same way that um, it's it's hard to talk about um, the United States Army in World War II without talking about MacArthur. It's hard to talk about the Confederate Army without talking about General Lee. It's it's. Uh, it's very difficult to talk about the Civil War without talking about Abraham Lincoln. Um, it's, it's difficult to talk about Britain without Churchill. I mean, leadership, and I, I think I've just punned myself here, but leadership and lead guitar playing seem to have something in common. So the leaders of the band are usually the lead singer. But the musical leader of the band is usually the lead guitar player who is the foil for the melodies that the singer um, performs. So having guitar players like Jeff Beck and, and, um, uh, and Eric Clapton and Jimmy Page draw people to the roots and to the bands that they played in. Um, so it's, I think it's only a, it's a small step for people who are musically inclined to want to dig deeper. And yeah, I think those guys have in a sense carried the standard and represented the standard of guitar players and people want to go find out where they came from. Does uh, Jimmy Mayall um, jump in that line of succession on the, on the record? I think so. I really like his guitar playing. <laughs> and of course that's, you know, I, 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 I'm not a critic and I'm not a, this is just my opinion. But I find it fresh, aggressive, and I find it a terrific combination with the harmonic with the harp playing. There's a really nice synergy between those two. Most of the time with harp players and guitar players, I don't hear that. Guys are sort of on their own thing, but they seem to have found common ground. And again, he's a guitar player to me who plays the notes where they're supposed to be. Not hi, I'm a shredder. Look at you know, here's my here's my capability today. It's what's best for the music, and I'll support any guitar player that does that. Other than your uh, your track, what's your favorite track on the on the new record? I don't know, because I'm still listening to it. You know, I'm still taking it all in, and I I have a hard time after three or four listenings, because I've been I've had to do a bunch of other things since we did this record. Um, but I'm driving down to, uh, I have a consultant job that I have to do down in La Jolla today and I'm going to have two hours in my car on the way down and I, that's wh what I have on the top of my, of my CD pile to really listen to the record. Um, again, I thought Brian May's performance was awesome. I, I love Brian's guitar playing anyway. And I thought um, Luke did a great job of staying within the boundaries of the Yardbirds. Um, I loved his stuff. And Slash played great. I mean, he's a great guitar player anyway, but he really, again, everybody seemed to sit back and analyze it first. They didn't just jump into it. So I'm going to have a hard time picking which track I really liked because the problem is all those guys are my friends and I like their playing. So I, I guess it'll just be a question of, uh, I'll have to maybe write a note, put it in an envelope, leave it in the safe, and you can read it 50 years from now. I don't know. I like them, and to me, what I'm seeing is the beginning, the beginning of something. Um, like anything else, when you write new stuff, you synthesize everything that you've known, everything that you do, plus you try to be aware of, in some way, shape, or form, of what's going on in the contemporary music world. And I get the feeling that they're not going to stop here. I get the feeling that some of the songs are open-ended. Uh, I'm not saying that they're unfinished. I'm just saying that they're open-ended. And that, that makes me smile because it tells me that there's going to be some sort of movement. And I love that. And I hope, to, I hope in some way, shape, or form to stay involved with those guys if, 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 if they want it that way because I'd like to be a part of that development. I, I, think, they're, I think they're going. They're moving. It just isn't like, okay, this is us. I can hear some exploratory work between the guitar players. I can hear the, some, some exploratory work between bass and drums. These guys are working. They're, they're, they're getting down into the coal mine. 
Uh, and so the songs to me, again, I, I, I don't want to be misinterpreted as just saying they're unfinished or they're, or they're not up to, to par. They're just part of a, what seems to me to be a journey. To me, that's the best thing that could possibly happen. If you want to do it again, we can do it again. Yeah, I would like to do that with Brian Harbaugh. Can you turn this off? Is this, is this in the audio? In the audio realm, Mr. Travis? Good thing you have a photographic camera in. I can do it. I do it on CNN and Fox all the time. Um, yes, the Iraqi order of battle. All right. <laughs> Works for me. Pop culture, man. It's like pop culture. <laughs> uh, we were talking about uh, the, the new songs. Well, you asked me about the new songs. You got speed? Yeah, we're okay. good. Yeah, you asked me about the new songs. Um, and again, I want to be very careful as I define my terms here because I do not want to be misinterpreted or misquoted. The new songs to me sound like they're open ended. That's not to say they're not complete. And that's not to say they're not of high quality, but they sound, and the word but is wrong because it's negative, and they sound open-ended to me, which makes me smile because that tells me that the band is not static, that there's going to be a point, a point B and a point C, and they're moving down a road in a direction that they're still searching for what that direction is. Uh, again, the quality of music is great, and the songs make me smile because I hear the exploring, I hear the exploratory work between the bass player and the drummer. I hear the, the, the exploring, the, 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 the spelunking uh, between the guitar player and the harp player. So I'm kind of looking forward to the next one, hearing it, because I, I think I know what they're trying to do. And I, I love it because they're not trying to be the Yardbirds in a space in time, frozen in a particular style and place. I think they're moving, and that's great. I'm looking forward to that. So you, you think there should be a, uh, another record after this? Absolutely. And, that's, and that comes, my, that, that's only my opinion, but that comes from the fact that there's a lot of viability and a lot of capability and a lot of creativity still there. And when I say the songs are open-ended, they haven't emptied all the chests. <laughs> you know, they haven't, all the riffs aren't on the floor yet. There's still a long way to go. And I'm excited about that. I'm really looking forward to it. So tell me about your feelings about, I think we already went over that, but I don't know if we've done it yet. If we're done, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Hey, Pleasure was mine. You brought so much to, uh, you know, to, the, to the record. Uh, and, you know, when you did it like that, was it, was, it, was it a short period of time? It was easy. It was easy. It was easy in a sense that the only effort was to, to, to perform and try to, to shine at the level of what I thought the band was, is, and will be. Well, thanks for coming. Sure.